welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I've done a um, talk through. Mainly it's just like a lot of construction around my apartment and so it's hard to like have a time that I can film my videos and it not be so loud. And so the look that I'm doing today is really special because you guys see this literally every single time you watch my videos. Um, it's the picture at the end of each tutorial. Um, that I've created my logo out of, and um, darn, back then I just didn't have the right equipment, I wasn't doing YouTube videos, but I was really big at doing a lot of makeup for Instagram, so it was just like one of my days where I was like, hey, I want to play with makeup, and something amazing happened, and I didn't get to put that on camera, but I'm going to try and recreate that look. To start off this look, I'm going to use my eyeshadow C brush right here and I'm going to take that Tinkerbell color or that pink color for my blush and I'm going to apply this in my crease. I'm going to take my Love and Rayo palette, I'm going to use just a little bit of the purple and I place this along the top of the crease just to darken that pink up a little bit. Now I'm gonna take the black and I'm gonna put that along the top of the crease too. I'm going to just wipe off the edge of this brush, this eyeshadow C brush that I've been using, and I'm just going to blend those together. Okay, so my eyeshadow base from NYX is White Pearl, and I just took a lip brush like this. And I place this on my eyelids as a base for the um, shimmer that I add on to the eyelid. And I'm focusing this mainly on the lid. Now I'm gonna take my NYX Shimmer Roll-On in Platinum. What I'm going to do is just dip my brush into the, the tube and just pat it on my eyelid. Now I'm just going to take um, my eyeshadow C brush right here. This is from e.l.f. and I'm just going to sweep across the top because that's what I did in this look. This is just so that goes that blunt line goes away. Okay, NYC liquid liner. I use this all the time and I'm just going to make a nice uh, winged eye line. And I'm just bringing this across the lid, one even line like that, nothing special. And then in the corner, I bring it up. And then towards like the center of that line, I just bring it back and um, even that line out. And I'm also going to just do the same on the other eye. Now for the outer corner, what I did was took a little bit of my Tarte Emphasize Nude Pencil. I definitely put that on my lower waterline. I also, uh, right under the, the wing of my eyeliner, I just made like a little triangle to 
to get that bright part underneath the um the eyes and I just went ahead and blend blended the uh, ends out with my finger. You can actually take a brush and I'm just gonna use this one. This is what I used for the um the shimmer on my eyes. And I just brought some more of that in the corner right there to make that pop out a little more. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. Oh, let me blend it a little more. I can still blend it. So it just kind of fades away. Actually, let me... I changed my mind a little. I'm going to go in with my white pearl eye base and I'm just going to clean that up a little. And I'm going to pause this so I can look back at the picture because I forgot what it looks like by now. Um, I'm going to take my NYX Purple, or Love and Rio, and I'm going to use this purple and I'm going to use that under my waterline. And I'm going in with my e.l.f. Professional Eyeliner Brush. It's a flat brush and I like this because it's easier to get um, the color underneath that eyelid like that. So I'm just... Just going to lightly press down. And I'm going to bring this color along the edge of this. And I'm just going to blend it up. And uh, towards the um, bottom edge of this, I'm going to take the pink from that same palette and um, blend it at the end of that purple. I'm going to um, wipe off the product from this and I'm going to go in I'm going to go back in with the um, Platinum from NYX and I'm going to put that in the corners of my eyes in that little triangle area right here. I mean, it's okay if you fade that out into your um, forehead. Yeah. And then I do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna take my eyelash curler and this is from e.l.f. I got it for a dollar. I'm just going to press my eyelashes together and curl them for just like five seconds. And now I'm going to get the other lash, eyelashes. Just like that. I didn't use any um, eyelashes for this tutorial. I'm pretty sure what I used was um, my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. But this is my new favorite because it's a little more lengthening. And um, I use just mascara. Now for the fun part, the lips. The lips in this look were super fun to do. And I'm going to be using multiple lip lipsticks. The first one I'm using is Vamp It Up by... Wet n Wild. This is a dollar and some change. 
And then the second mask, uh, the second lipstick I'm using is for Maybelline. This is Fuchsia Fever, and uh, this is like a Nicki Minaj type pink. Um, <laughs> so first of all, what I did is I take this um, Vamp It Up lipstick and I take the lip brush and I just place this color in the corner of my lips. Actually, let me just. I'm going to take, not have the brush. Yeah. Okay, so I roughly just got it on there, and now I'm just going to clean up the edges with a brush. It shows up almost black, um, but it's fun. And there we go. I'm going to put that lipstick away. And I'm going to use the Fuchsia Fusion. And I'm just going to dab this baby into the center of my lip. You can use a lip brush, but I want a bulk of the color on my lips. And I'm just going to um, wipe off that brush I used before and I'm going to clean up the top row and blend this ombre out a little bit better. I'm going to blend it in the corners. I'm just going to add a little bit more of the pink. And I'm just going to blend it a little bit better. And um, I'm going to, I'm coming up closer so you can see that I've blended it pretty well. And I just went over the top of my lips with lip gloss. I think I used just a little, I mixed a little bit of this uh, Cherish lip gloss in there too. So I mixed a lot of things on my lips um, for this look, I remember. Okay, and if you want, you can use something that, um, you can use a clear lip gloss that applies a little more product on the lip at one, all at one time. So I'm just going to go in with some lip plumper, that's a clear lip, glo lip gloss, and just go over my lips with it. And this is that look with blue hair. And I'm glad you liked my tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone!